In order to grow in high densities, algae need lots of nutrients. These nutrients can be divided into two groups, macronutrients and micronutrients. Macronutrients are needed in large amounts. For algae, these are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. These are often referred to by their chemistry names as NKP. In our lab, we often use fertilizers such as miracle Grow as medium for our algae. These types of fertilizers usually will display their NKP ratios on their labels, which tells us the percentage of each in the solution. For example, our Miracle brand has an NKP of 24816, which informs us that in a solution, it will contain 24% nitrogen, 8% phosphate, and 16% potassium. In addition, algae need micronutrients, which are in small amounts. These can vary greatly for different algae species, but our miracle Grow medium should be suitable for many different types of algae. For micronutrients, it contains boron, copper, iron, manganese, molybdenum, and zinc, all needed in small amounts for the algae's diet. It is important to research your algae's needs before starting to grow them. So let's get started with putting your algae in a miracle Grow medium. For this medium, we'll use miracle Grow water-soluble all-purpose plant food at its recommended adage of one tablespoon per gallon. This equals about 9.0 grams per gallon. One gallon is about 3.75 liters. Measure out this amount and add it to a gallon of water. Shake this vigorously until no solid particles are left. Add one molar of a base until the pH is 7.0. Generally, it'll take about eight milliliters of one molar potassium hydroxide to bring the solution to neutral. Using pH strips or a pH meter, make sure the pH is near 7.0 for most algae species. Add medium to a growing container, then add a sample of algae. Place your container in a window or under growing lights, and you are all set to go.